on this edition of Cults Exposed, a fanatical group of Linux extremists. What you're referring to as Linux is in fact GNU slash Linux. A maniacal group so passionate about their dogmatic view of the world, it is a miracle that this man escaped. Is it true that you served as the leader of this cult? That's true, but in the early days I was just trying to be funny. I created this assertive and opinionated philosophy that was really quite outlandish. But instead of people getting the joke, many people agreed with me. The next thing I knew, I was being worshipped as a god. Were you afraid for your life? Absolutely. I thought I would eventually be discovered and exposed as a fraud because in the privacy of my own home, of course I called my operating system simply Linux instead of GNU slash Linux. But I had to be careful. I had to make sure that I wasn't being watched. Speaking the word Linux wasn't allowed? No, I had long decreed that that word is forbidden. With one exception, our members are allowed to refer to it as GNU slash Linux, or as I've recently started calling it, GNU plus Linux. Is the idea of free software a scam? I wouldn't call it a scam necessarily, but it is nice to have programmers work on your stuff for free. Did you just pull out something from between your toes? What was that? When you find a better place to store your M&Ms, let me know. By the way, why are we pixelating my face? We're on YouTube. Even if a good new member saw this video, they could never tell anyone about it. You don't want to miss the next Cults Exposed. Proprietary garbage for the win.